So I'm going to start off using an Anastasia brow wiz. My eyebrows are really sparse, so I like to use a pencil to outline them first before I go in with any dip brow. So now I'm going to go in with a Pro Angled Liner Brush from Sephora and my Anastasia Dip Brow in Ebony to fill in my eyebrows. I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Concealer. I love the consistency of it. Um, it works really great to clean up brows. I've been using it for a while now and it's my favorite. Now to prime my eyes, I'm going to use Makeup Forever Full Cover Concealer. If you watched any of my YouTube tutorials, you know I swear by this stuff. I will never stop using it. It makes my eyeshadow last all day long and it's waterproof. And to set it, I'm going to use the lightest color in the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette with a Luxe Lush brush in 150. For the transition shade, I'm going to use this peach color from the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette with a Morphe E17 brush. So I'm breaking the eyeshadow out a little bit because we want that defined cut crease. This is going to act as a base and as a guide. So now I'm going to grab this color from the Manny MUA palette with a Morphe 433 brush and I'm going to put that color right on top of the transition shade. So now I'm going to go in with this color from the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette and a Morphe E37 brush and I'm going to carve out the crease. It's going to be a lot easier now that I have that guide going so I can just follow the line. This is the easiest way that I know to create a cut crease.
blend out the harsh line with a small definer brush. And I'm going to grab my Morphe M43 brush again with the same color from the Manny MUA palette and blend it all together. You don't have to be extra precise or extra neat with this because we're going to clean it up later. So I'm going to grab my Morphe E37 brush again and go in with a black color from the Kat Von D palette and trace over it again to add some more depth. And then grabbing a small definer brush again, I'm going to blend that out. So going back to the Manny MUA palette and the same light brown color, I'm going to use a Morphe M503 brush to blend it out even more. Now to clean it up, I'm going to use the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC15 and a really small flat eyeliner brush from Sephora. For the lid, I'm going to use this really pretty purple color from the Urban Decay Vice 2 palette. For glitter, I'm going to use the Eye Candy Cosmetics Liquid Sugar Base and the Glitter in Tiny Tart. These are the only glitters that I use. I swear by them. They're my favorite. And I didn't realize that my camera had overheated when I was doing my eyeliner and eyelashes. So you won't be able to see that in this video. I'm so sorry. My face was already moisturized. So I'm just going to go in with a primer. This is the Makeup Forever Smoothing Primer. Since it's hard for me to find concealers that are lighter than my skin tone since I'm so pale, I like to mix this Mayron foundation in ivory with my concealer to brighten up my under eye.
and to set it I'm going to use a Luxie brush in 536 and MAC Pro Emphasize Powder. And right after I'm going to bake and the powder that I love to use is the RCMA No Color Powder. It works amazing. To contour, I'm going to use this Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. The brush that I'm using is the Morphe E45. It is the best brush to contour, as you can tell. Look how defined that contour is. It's bomb. And the other brush that I like to use is the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. That one is amazing as well. Going back to that Manny MUA palette, I'm going to use that same brown color to define my lower lash line. Now I'm going to go in with this NYX glitter liquid liner under my lower lash line. And lastly, I'm going to go in with an Ofra liquid lipstick in the color Aries. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on my next video.